With commodity prices climbing, some companies are looking to reopen mines in Arizona that were closed long ago. Reporter Ellie Cano traveled to northern Arizona for a closer look at a battle between environmentalists and an industry that could help jumpstart the state's economy. That's right, Sierra. In 2009, Denison Mines reopened the Arizona One Mine, and now they're in the process of reopening the Pine Nut Mine. Both are in Fredonia. Now we got a closer look at another uranium mine that might be next on the company's list. Uranium has and does kill people. We made the trip up to Fredonia, Arizona, near the Utah border, where Taylor McKinnon took us to the front line of his fight against uranium mining. The amount of uranium in the soil around this mine is about 10 times what you would expect at this site had it not been mined. McKinnon is from the Center of Biological Diversity, and he gave us a tour of the Kanab North Mine, which was operated by Denison Mines until the mid-90s. The uranium market fell apart, and uh, as a result, the uh, company that was operating it put the mine on standby and, and basically walked away. Here at Kanab North Mine, there are piles of uranium waste that have been sitting out for 20 years. And we have to wear these protective masks so that we don't breathe in the uranium dust that's been blowing around to the surrounding areas. In the 1980s, the uranium mining business was booming in northern Arizona, near the Grand Canyon, because the price of uranium was high. But when the 90s hit, that price started to drop. The price bottom really dropped out to the point that uh, I think it was like, say, 1994. They basically shut all those mines down. But today, prices are climbing, which means Arizona's mining industry is growing again. Energy engineer Professor Keith Holbert believes nearby towns like Fredonia will see a huge benefit as old mines reopen. I think it's a positive thing for them. I'm sure that they're glad to get the jobs back. A prospect Fredonia residents like Eddie King would welcome. I really think it helps our economy. But the economic impact isn't enough to convince environmentalists like McKinnon, who are convinced health risks outweigh any argument to begin digging again. Now, Denison Mines has the okay from the Bureau of Land Management to reopen the Kanab North Mine. Denison Mines declined an interview with us, but according to the BLM, the company's thinking about it. Live in downtown Phoenix, Ellie Cano, Cronkite News.